For New York City, we now have a number of confirmed cases for coronavirus of 329. And I remind you, we started this week uh, with several dozen cases. We're now at 329. A borough breakdown from numbers earlier in the day. They will not add up to 329, but it'll give you a flavor of the breakdown. 78 cases in Queens, 72 cases in Manhattan, 53 cases in Brooklyn, 21 cases in the Bronx, and six cases in Staten. I'm sorry, 16 cases in Staten Island. Yes, indeed. 78 cases in Queens, 72 cases in Manhattan, 53 cases in Brooklyn, 21 cases in the Bronx, 16 cases in Staten Island. That is ever changing. One of the worst things I have to tell you now is we are now at five total deaths in New York City. Again, as recently as Friday afternoon, there were none. It's now five. You all know uh, about the 82-year-old woman from Brooklyn who suffered from emphysema, then was hospitalized related to coronavirus. We lost her. Now, four more deaths reported related to coronavirus. A 79-year-old woman who did have pre-existing conditions of heart failure and lung disease, a 78-year-old man who had multiple pre-existing conditions, a 56-year-old man who had diabetes, and a 53-year-old woman who had diabetes and heart disease. Uh, we feel horrible for these families. We grieve with them. They're in our thoughts and prayers. And it is a reminder to everyone of how vulnerable that part of our population is that is older and has those pre-existing conditions, and we must protect them. And another reminder that anyone in your life who meets that standard, we have to isolate them from anyone who might be sick, even if it's their loved ones.